we should not forget what's happening in Ukraine. We're lucky to have Christian singer and military chaplain Mark Sargave with us. He was there. One of the deadliest days in Ukraine's history. 40 plus people killed. They're not sure how many yet. One of the missiles fired by Russia hit the largest children's hospital in Kyiv, the capital. At least four kids dead, 50 people injured, tons of rubble they're still assessing. Just hours ago, Biden addressed the NATO summit and announced the U.S. and four other countries will provide Ukraine dozens of additional tactical air defense systems. This should have happened a long time ago. Mark, uh, thank God you're safe. Thank you for joining us. What do you want people to know about how intentional this was and the impact on the reality there? Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you, Chris, for inviting me uh, to be here. Um, first of all, I want to say uh, thank you for support. Thank you to the United States, to the whole nation that support us. But yeah, yesterday was a crazy day. I really, you know, uh, I'm a military chaplain, and when you see the death uh, at the front line, it's one thing. But when you see the kids, when you see the hospital, Months ago, my oldest son was broke his arm, and I was in the same uh, the same place helping him and trying to do something in this hospital. And now it's completely destroyed. So uh, Ukrainian nation is very mad, very sad. Uh, I saw so many sad people uh, because of the kids, because of you know the whole atmosphere was very um, and disappointing and every I mean very hard. Very hard time. Mark, you said that you took video because you wanted the world to see, but specifically, you wanted friends to see in America who think that Russia yeah. isn't trying to hurt innocents. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, uh, if, if, you ca if you come, actually, I want to invite you, if, you, if you're going to have a time some, someday to come to Kiev. It's a peaceful city right now, and cafes are working, and, and you can shop, and, and everything is going well. Uh, and we have a traffic, <laughs> big traffic in the streets. But mm -hmm. in the night, we have, a, like, like in Israel something, you know, we have a problems. The rockets, the sh same shahids that attacks Israel from Iran, they attacks Ukraine. And uh, now it's in the center of the day. Right. People are shopping. Kids are... Uh, I have a plan, actually, just to take uh, my kids and just uh, walk around, and I see how the rockets came, and so I take the car and go specifically there, and that was crazy moment. But uh, I'm happy that we have this nation. We united together because we get it together. The volunteers, the police officers, the uh, everybody right. get it here and there, and we work together for one well, day until at night to get get all things clean, yeah. But, Mark, you're going to need help, and the world has to keep watching. Uh, I will be back to Ukraine. We will not forget. We will continue our coverage, and we're always a call away. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank God you're okay. Uh, not everybody is, and that's going to continue, but we'll continue to watch. Uh, please stay in touch, and the best to your family and to you. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.